Hi! I'm going to show you how to make a delicious, fresh, vegan, healthy, loaded with all these kinds of things that I'm pretty sure you need, but I've never actually done any research. A lot of these things might be totally useless. I'm not sure. I usually eat these for breakfast, and I love bringing it to work with me because it's like a nice, healthy snack to bring to work. It makes me look forward to my mid-afternoon lunch because food's the only thing that really gets me through the day. So, here we go. <laughs> I used to use yogurt, I don't use it anymore, that's now why it's vegan, because I don't use yogurt anymore, and that's kind of exactly why I don't use the yogurts, because I want this to be vegan. Always use banana and apple. Sometimes I'll use strawberries, but honestly, I'm just not a huge fan of strawberries, and the last time I bought them, I could barely stomach them. I don't know what it is, I just don't care for strawberries that much. Or like strawberry flavored things, like strawberry and desserts, that's like the devil straight up. So I always use these. Yesterday I used a mango. Look at this fat, juicy ass mango. Oh, so delicious. I also use almonds. I got these on clearance at Walmart and I'm very sad because this is my last bag and almonds are very expensive. I use sunflower seeds and I use chip coconuts. That's what they say on the bag, chip coconuts. I also just bought some grape nuts. I like a good crunch. I like it to be creamy, I like it to be crunchy. So I bought grape nuts. They have an interesting taste. I'm getting used to it. I don't mind it. I also use flax seeds and I use this whole trilogy. It's flax, chia, and hemp seeds. And then I also use oats. Just raw, straight up oats. I don't cook them or anything. And this kind of gives it like a thicker consistency. Now I'll show you how I assemble it. Oh, and I also use cinnamon. I put cinnamon on top because it's so delicious and it makes it so much more full. Yeah, the apple and the cinnamon, it's just like fall heaven. So you need a knife, you need a cutting board, boom, pesticides, annihilated. Also, I just watched that movie Annihilation. I'm not gonna lie, it was creepy. I dreamt about it later on that night. And then I always save the fruit pits on this container because I put everything in a big container. I always have it on the lid because I'll show you later what I do with them. So I just go down each piece, I slice it long ways, and then I cut it either two or three, wait no, only three times. <laughs> I cut it three times across to make it small pieces. Sometimes I get big pieces, I like to just cut them. When I'm in a rush, I look like a maniac chopping up all of these fruits. Then I do banana just right over the container. These I try and cut thinly because I don't like big chunks of banana. I have in the past tried to use the banana as yogurt by mashing it up, but I just don't like banana that much to where I can want to taste it in every single bite. Next is the mango. I'm gonna show you how to cut a mango the easiest way. So this is how I do it the easiest way. Don't forget to take the sticker off. Holy shit, I forgot to take the sticker off the apple. What I do is I just cut along the pits. So the mango has a really big pit, and I just try and get as close as possible to it. Oh, it smells so good. See, like, even that is, like, too close. So look how big this pit kind of is. Can you, like, maybe get some meat off the sides? I used to try to eat the skins, and now I don't because the skin, especially on this kind, like the big green kind, are a little too thick. The skin on the yellow isn't too bad. Okay, so let me use this big meaty piece to show you. What you do is you cut lines like this. And then you cut lines the other way, making chunks. I have a love-hate relationship with that word. And then you peel it back. Ah. But I think I'm not sure how to totally get them out without just like hacking. So I just go ahead and hack them off. I love mango so much. After all that, I add my coconut chips. This is the fun part because it makes it very pretty. Sunflower seeds. Grape nuts. Seeds for healthy purposes. The flax seed kind of gives it more of like a uh, nutty taste. Next is my halved almonds. I have them because almonds are expensive. <laughs> my oats, which are super important. I don't know if they're important nutritionally, but they're important for the fruit salad because all of this is about like the texture and the crunch and taste. And I think that this is all pretty healthy stuff. I mean, it's all organic, it's all natural. And then of course, 
the cinnamon. Woo -hoo. A lot of it. Excuse me. A lot of times I forget to add this in. It's a good thing I work at a restaurant because we have cinnamon in the back. Hi, so I'm editing this video and I just want to point out the fact that I have not once in my life ever said the word sin for cinnamon. I don't know what I was thinking. I have not said it since. I literally died laughing when I heard myself say that because it was like, who is that person? That's not me. Yeah. Mm, the final result. Look at those layers. Like, yum. Like, I just try and see what's on sale mostly what fruit is available at the moment. Um, I'm like taking and adding things. So that's my healthy fruits salad recipe. Super easy, quick, vegan, healthy. Pretty cheap, honestly, once you like buy all the ingredients. I hope you liked it. I hope you try it. It's delicious. Okay, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.